Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about SSAS architecture. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSAS from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based and much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class 1, so you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to learn about what is uh, SSAS architecture. Okay, SSAS and Power BI both are having the same architecture. So in SSAS, so there are two types of models are there. So if you are watching first time my video, please uh, check previous videos. Okay, so in SSAS, we have two types of models. If you are using tabular model, we are going to use the DAX functions. If you are using uh, multi-dimensional model we are using mdx okay so both are two different uh, formula languages okay so whenever you write the query so what is happening so once you write the query for example you have written dax okay so you have created total cells one measure you created okay measure or calculated count so whenever you created first of all what is happening the uh, query input is going to interact with the formula engine okay so first of all it is going to interact with the formula engine and it is going to interact with the storage engine so it's an interview questions how many types of engines are available in the ssas architecture or power bi architecture so you can say two types of engines are available the first one is formula engine the second one is storage engine what is the responsibilities we are going to check now okay so now we have written uh, one dax expression and uh, after that it is going to interact with formula engine right so after that here in formula engine there is a query parser so what is the duty of query parser this query parser is going to check whether that uh, query uh, whatever we have written that dax syntax is correct or not or expression is correct or not it is going to check once everything is fine then it is going to interact with the query processor this query processor is nothing but is going to create an execution plan so for example if you are creating a first time the formula first time so what is what is happening so it is going to create an execution plan and that execution plan is going to store in the formula engine cache okay so maybe first time it will maybe take uh, some time okay for example let's say five seconds if already written dax function it is not going to uh, take five seconds it will take less than five seconds maybe one second or like that because so that formula already it is stored in the formula engine cache okay so once uh, formula engine is uh, so once uh, in formula engine cache we created the execution plan what will happen then it is going to connect with the storage engine so here storage engine so this is also entry question what is the storage engine we are using in SSAS or Power BI? So that name is called as a VertiPack. What is the name? Let me show you. Come here. Storage name is VertiPack engine, also called as a X velocity. X velocity. In VertiPack, the data is going to store in the form of column store index. If you don't know anything about this, so please uh, go and check previous videos okay so already we explained what is a column store index and all okay so once uh, execution plan is created in the formula engine then it is going to interact with the storage engine in the storage engine what pack we are using right or x velocity another name so maybe they will ask in the interview okay so you have to remember this so here the data is going to store in the column store index that is the important thing and in the storage engine there is a dimension data and measure group data okay two things are there so here hierarchy store and attribute store here dimension data is going to store separately and measure group data here fact table data will be there see here fact data and aggregations will be there so so once it is created so first time if you are creating so the storage engine what it is going to do it is going to create a execution plan and it is going to store in the storage engine cache once you created uh, the formula it is going to store in the storage engine cache 
so if you are creating first time so if it is already it is exist then just it is reuse that's it very simple see here you can able to see dimension data cache and measure group data cache two two things are there in the storage engine cache after that it is going to interact with the windows file system it is going to store the data in the somewhere right so windows file system so once everything is done it is going to the storage engine give uh, give the result as here okay so in this way we'll get the result so we have to understand what is storage engine what is formula engine what is the responsibilities of a storage engine and formula engine okay thank you for watching my video and uh, if you have any questions you can comment in the comment below so if anybody looking for a special training you can call to this number or you can email to this email id okay my whatsapp number also same thing thank you for watching